Now the typical work day. You're staring down a packed calendar and looking at all of your to-do tasks for the day and wondering how you're gonna get it all done. Well, I thought to myself, wouldn't it be nice if I had some AI assistant that would just tell me how to manage my time for the day? And I built it with the Power Platform in AI. So come on over to my prompt playground and we'll see how it works. So what I was looking for is something like this, an email that I get at the start of every workday where it takes into account the meetings that I have and what I have due in my to-do list for the day. And then it will suggest a breakdown of how I should allocate my time. So this gives me a complete breakdown, not only of the meetings that I have, but also when I should focus on the specific tasks that I have set aside. So let's see how I built this. The magic is with Power Automate and AI prompts. The first thing that I did was go to make.powerautomate.com and I went to the My Flows tab and I created a new scheduled cloud flow. This would allow me to send this email every day. I changed the settings here for daily and set it for 7 a.m. And I did a bunch of configuration and this is ultimately what I ended up with. And I'll break down what's going on in this flow for you. And don't worry if you don't wanna build this all from scratch. I made this a sample on the Power Platform samples repo so you can just download and install this into your environment if you want. But I'll make sure to cover the main pieces so you know how to rebuild this yourself if you want to. So we have the recurring trigger here that's going to run at 7 a.m. every day. And then I added a few components. Now this one right here is optional, but I put in a compose action where you can put in your email address that you want that daily email to go to. And if you haven't looked at Power Automate before, to add in these actions, you click on this plus, you go to add an action, and you just search for the name of the action that you wanna add. So I add this compose operation, and that adds that onto the canvas. Now I did this same process and I added another action called initialize variable. So this right here allows me to set a variable that I'll use throughout the context of my flow. So I wanna be able to take the outputs of the events that I have for the day, the to-dos I have due for the day, and pass those into an AI prompt, which I'll touch on here in a minute. So that's what these variables are doing, is storing those outputs, which we'll set later on. Now, the first big thing we need to do is get our events in Outlook. And all of this is customizable though. If you don't use Outlook and you use Gmail, you can just simply swap out the connectors. So you go to add, add an action, and just point to wherever you have your calendar items. So you see, we can do the same thing for a Google Calendar if that's where your calendar items are stored. But I use the Get Calendar Items from the Outlook 365 connector. So in this Get Events item, the first thing you need to do is point it to the calendar ID, which is just a drop down that lists all of your calendars. And the important thing is in the advanced options because this is going to return all of your events. And I only wanna show the events for the current day that this flow is running. So to do that, we need to have a filter query. In this filter query button, I'm gonna filter on the start date time. And to get the current day's events, I'm going to say where start date time is greater than or equal to, and this is using expressions in Power Automate. And then I'm going to use an expression called add hours. Now, this is going to vary based off of the time of the day that you set that you want this flow to run. So since I wanna get items for the current day and calendar events can be for all hours of the day, I need to be able to calculate from the time that I'm running this flow to the time when the day actually starts. So that's what we're doing here is I'm just subtracting from when this runs the amount of hours that would be the beginning of the day. And then I'm going to say where and start date time is less than or equals to, and then I'm going to do the same thing to calculate when the end of the day would be based off the hour that this is initialized. So hopefully that's clear as mud. Now the next thing we need to do is loop through this because it's going to return an array of objects and we need to extract all those information of these events and put that in a string so we can then pass that into our AI prompt. So that's what we're doing here in this first loop. We're looping through the events and we're passing in the value of our get events. So here's our list of calendar items. We're gonna loop through that, and then we're going to have another action in here called append to string variable. So this is where that variable that we set initially comes into play. So we're going to say append to the events variable, and I want to extract out the subject of the event and the start time and the end time. And this is what I'm gonna pass into AI to be able to build out that time allotment. So the only things to note here is the subject, that's just dynamic content coming from the get events action. But you'll notice on the date time, when we do date times in the get events, it's going to come back in UTC format. 
So for my calendar day, I wanted to come in my local time zone. So I'm doing a convert time zone function and pointing it to the start time. And I'm saying convert that from UTC to Central Standard Time, which is the time zone that I'm in. You would just sub that out for whatever time zone you want to convert that to. And I'm doing the same thing for the end time where I'm saying convert that to Central Standard Time so I know that my time zones are correct. All right, so now we have all of our events for the day formatted in a string that we could go pass into AI. Now I wanna get my task. And again, this is all customizable. I happen to put my task in Microsoft To Do. So I have this on my device. I just update this every day with the tasks that I wanna do for the day. But you could be using Planner or any other to-do list thing that has a connector in Power Automate and do the same thing. So I'm gonna point this to my task. And then now, same thing, I need to be able to only extract out the tasks that are for the current day. So to filter this, we don't have a filter option in this action. So I need to do an additional step. So I'm going to click on the plus button, add an action, and you would search for an action called filter array. So you add that in and then you point that to where you want to filter from. So this would be the body of the list to do's by folder. And then here we also need to do that time zone manipulation because these times are in UTC as well. So I'm going to convert that to central time and format it to extract only the date and not the time out. So I'm going to say where the due date is equal to, and then I'll do that same time zone format, but take the current date with the UTC now function. And I'll paste these functions in the video description. So if you are creating this from scratch, you can just copy and paste these functions over. So we're just comparing the due date and to do to the current date and seeing if those are the same. And we're extracting out the times. So we're only comparing on dates. Now that we have that filter, we can do a loop through the to-dos because we need to take those to-do items and put them in a string to pass back to our prompt. So we're gonna filter on the body in this case of our filter array. And then we're gonna add another append to string variable, this time pointing it to our to-dos variable. And then we're just gonna pass in the title from that filter. All right, we're getting to the end here and this is where we're going to add in some AI magic. So the thing you see that I have below is this create text with a GPT using a prompt. This is an action if we go to add an action under the AI builder connector. So there's a specific model called create text with GPT using a prompt. And this is going to allow us to call generative AI and perform actions and return data back in our flow. So when you add that in, you actually get a drop down of prompts to choose from. So there's all kinds of default prompts, but you can build your own custom prompts as well. And that's what I did here with this prompt called time management. So let's take a look at where we create these AI prompts. So if you open another tab and go to make.powerautomate.com and you might not see it in your left navigation, so you might need to click more and go to the AI hub and you'll see the section here for AI prompts. So within here, you can choose the create text with GPT using a prompt and say, create a custom prompt. And you can find any prompt here that you want. Now the prompts that I'm showing are ones that I built and they happen to be available on our Power Platform Prompt repository. So if you wanna get some ideas of different prompts that you can use in AI Builder like this, just go to aka.ms forward slash Power Platform Prompts, go to the AI Builder tab and you'll see all of these prompts here, including this time management prompt. So if you go over here and into the language folder, you'll see the prompt there and you just copy and paste that into this section that we're seeing here for your prompt. And one of the things with these prompts that you need to do is to find some dynamic content. And this means what are you going to pass into the prompt to have it do whatever you're asking it to do. So if you look at one of these example prompts, you'll see we have these brackets. That's telling you where you need to pass in dynamic content. So I'm asking this prompt to create a time management plan for a workday, giving these tasks and priorities. And right here where this bracket is, I need to remove that and I need to add a dynamic value. And I'm gonna call this priorities. And then the same thing for my meetings here, cause I'm asking it to take into account the meetings that I have for the day. So I'll delete that. I'll add another dynamic value called meetings. And then I'll say a display a breakdown of focus allocations by time. Now here's the really cool part too. I'm asking it to specifically format this as HTML. So if I were to not put that in, it would just be a long blob of text that wouldn't be very great to read in an email. In fact, I can show you an example. 
this is what it would look like if I didn't put that format as HTML. So it's really simple as adding that into your prompt and it will format it as HTML for you so it looks way prettier in your email. So you just give this prompt a name and say save prompt and then it will show up here in your prompts section. So you see there is my time management prompt and now I can use that inside of Power Automate like I'm using here or even Power Apps and call that prompt directly from here. So you'll notice when I select the prompt from the dropdown, it's automatically asking me to put in those inputs, the priorities in the meetings that we defined. So what I'm going to do is bind those to those variables we set. So we have our to do's variable and our events variable, which are string variables that I can go pass into my AI. It will do its AI magic. It will take that prompt, do the generative AI magic, and then return a suggestion back. So now all that's left to do is to send the actual email. So I'm just going to put in some basic text here about here is your AI generated time management plan. And that is really important to put in here. Anytime that you're relying on generative AI in any of your solutions, whether it be a flow like this or an app and power apps, if you're using generative AI, you need to let the users know that the content is AI generated and ideally even have a human going through the loop. So you would add in some kind of approval process in here or at the very least make sure it's known that this is AI generated. So that's what I'm saying there. And then I'm just adding in with my create text from GPT using prompt action, the generated text. And that my friends is the flow to make this happen. So you'll see surprisingly the easiest piece was the AI piece, creating the prompt and calling it from here was super simple. And the hardest part was just getting the events for the day and the to-do items for the day. So now as you have that at the start of every day, you'll get this nicely formatted email that's taking into account your calendar items and your to-dos and suggesting a time management plan. So hopefully that gave you what you need to be able to build this. If you just want to simply install it, I am adding this sample to our Power Platform samples repository here, and that should be available any day now. So you just download the zip file and import that as a solution into your environment and you'll be good to go. And as I mentioned, there's all kinds of examples of different AI prompts that you can use in our prompt repo. So make sure to check that out. I want to know what you think of this scenario. Is this something that you could see yourself using that would be helpful? If so, drop a note in the comments and let me know what you think. And if you have suggestions for other AI scenarios or use cases that you want me to try building a prompt for and integrating that into a Power Platform solution, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.